Welcome everyone, I'm Russell Alexander. I've been a lawyer at our team here for over 20 years. We help families who are going through separation and divorce. Today's topic, the basics of settlement privilege. Even those readers who have some experience with litigation process may not have heard the term settlement privilege before, or those viewers, sorry. It refers to an evidentiary principle of Canadian law that helps promote settlement. Settlement privilege is a rule of evidence that operates to render certain documents and communications inadmissible in court, whether during the hearings or in the pleadings, documents tendered by either of the parties to the litigation. Specifically, it covers communications that pertain to the parties' efforts to settle their dispute, including certain formal settlement offers, pretrial conference documents, settlement conference documents, and documents prepared for mediation. The privilege covers all settlement discussions and communications in, further, in furtherance of a compromise settlement when litigation already exists, or even when it is only reasonably contemplated. It's irrelevant whether the settlement is actually reached. The parties' negotiations, whether successful or not, are protected. If you're enjoying this video and find it helpful, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment below. To summarize, settlement privilege parameters can be said that settlement privilege is a common law rule of evidence that protects communications exchanged by the parties as they try to settle a dispute. It is specifically designed to promote settlement by protecting the parties' efforts to negotiate and reach a settlement without needing to resort to litigation. It covers all aspects of settlement negotiations. This includes offers and compromises made during negotiations, as well as the final settlement, including the amount covers both parties, neither of them is free to disclose to the court, whether orally or in filed court materials that they have made an offer or have received one. Can be viewed, but not unilaterally, but both parties must, to the litigation must agree before any elements of their settlement discussions can be disclosed to the court. With that said, and only where the justice requires it, there are narrow exceptions to the general rule. The person desiring to override settlement privilege in the specific case must show that its core pro-settlement principles are outweighed by competing public interests. These scenarios usually involve situations of alleged fraud, misrepresentation, or undue influence. At its root is the fundamental premise behind settlement privilege are these. It allows the disputing parties to freely discuss and offer terms of settlement in an attempt to reach a compromise. And it also ensures that admissions of liability, which are often part of a settlement negotiation, are not admitted into evidence if the matter goes to court. Without the protection of settlement privilege, the parties would rarely, if ever, enter into settlement negotiations at all. To learn more about settlement privilege, you can read the full article in the link in the description below. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment box below. If you liked this video and found it helpful, give us a thumbs up to let us know. You can subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification every time we upload a new video. Thank you for watching.